So this is my third iteration of a new case for the laser sensor by Duet. This little guy. When you buy the component, it actually comes with SDLs for a case, but it's a small case with a very limited opening for filament to go through. Um, and what the problem is with that is that once it's triggered, the filament sits basically between the sensor and the extruder. And at that point, I would like to be able to retract the actual uh, filament back uh, through the sensor and feed in a new piece. Now, the problem with the original case was that the openings were so small that the uh, filament would pretty much always jam and so what I'm trying to work with is to actually get a case that is smooth and concaved on the inside that will guide the uh, filament through two heat breaks that are inside this case like this. Now the opening should be completely covered by the edge of the concave chamber. Uh, the previous iteration I tried, uh, I had some chamfer going on, but it was still getting stuck. And so what I'm trying to get to is the right shape to actually have the filament go up again and then out. And the problem is when it's a little bit bent, it'll basically move to the sides. And even looking at this right now, I'm pretty sure that if it moves to the side, it's going to basically bump into this wall and probably jam again. The idea is that it would kind of get guided back into shape. So hopefully this design gets a little closer to that because I'm already on the third iteration. So that's how this one gets together. Now, the instructions for the actual case are to make it out of black plastic. Everything on my printer is white, as you might have seen in my previous video. So I printed it white and I basically painted the chamber uh, black so that when this actually gets attached in there, it doesn't really matter whether it's printed black or white. The actual chamber that the laser is in will be black to start with. Now I know that the sensor works because I've already tried it with my white filament and it's already detected a jam but that I kind of forced onto it and also running out of filament it, it immediately triggers it. Now the one downside about this thing right now is that when it triggers it just pauses the print. Uh, and what I had kind of hoped for is that I could call a macro or that it would at least call the pause.g which it doesn't do either it just does a pause and at that point I have to manually call a macro that will actually retract the filament out and uh, allow me to feed new filament in. So what I would like to get to, once it's possible to put a macro behind these sensors, whether it's the laser or the magnetic one, uh, then we could write some code to actually say like, you know, if we do have a jam or if we do have um, the end of filament, you know, discard what's in the actual uh, hot end right now and wait for a new piece to be fed in. All right, so I'm gonna let the paint dry I just painted it and then we're going to assemble the case again and we'll test and then we'll find out whether or not the filament will find its way back through the uh, the heat break and now the nice thing about the heat break is like once it gets in there there's a concave shape inside the actual heat break itself so it should guide it right through but it's the challenge of actually getting it from the bottom tube feeding back and then making its way to the top heat break. And once I get that, then I should be good to go. All right, I'll keep you posted on how this works.